Push those with the most. One and only. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Banana Show, number 73. My name is Adam Josh. That is what my mama named me. We got a banana here. I'm making myself a coffee. We're listening to the sweet and soothing sounds here of August Burns Red. The song is called Fault Line, and I've got an inkling that uh, at one point they were a Christian band, and then they realized that they shouldn't be a Christian band, so they're kind of subtly a Christian band, or some guys in the band are Christian, and then they thought, well, let's not like market that we're Christian, because then we won't get a certain market, but if we do not say anything, then people can assume that we're Christian, and we will get a certain market. It's one of those things. One of those bands where they're they're basically a Christian band, <clears throat> but they don't want to come out and say it, because then they, they get the Christian market, who thinks that they're Christian, and they get the people like me who are just like bopping their head to the hardcore music, <clears throat> which is also fun. So, yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Morning Banana Show. Number 73. I'm going to rip into this banana. And, um... I thought I would talk about Hashtag Adam Josh predictions today. If you've followed me on Twitter for any amount of time, uh, then you would know that sometimes I make predictions. <clears throat> the hashtag to follow them would be hashtag Adam Josh predictions. My Twitter handle is at AdamJosh.com. Website is AdamJosh.com. That's why the Twitter handle is at AdamJosh.com. So, I started making predictions about things a long time ago, and not writing them down, and then being like, oh man, I totally called that. And then, there's no proof. So I've, I've predicted things from President Trump being president, to um, Ben Affleck, uh, dropping out of Batman. Those two things I've predicted on Twitter and have time stamps and whatnot and have happened. A bunch, among a bunch of other things. And uh, how I predict these things is kind of like reading the tea leaves, making my own consensus about all the various news articles I read every day, and then uh, going into meditation coming out and feeling like what is true, what is the future, what is happening. So, we're all here. Here we are. And um, while we're here, <clears throat> I think the future can be exciting. Sometimes it is not exciting. Apparently last night, uh, I watched some of it, this democratic debate that has being, is being billed as the, the best ever, the most ratings, the most popular. I watched a bit of it, and uh, it's, uh, it's crazy. I mean, there's definitely a, an effort to, to drag the American public back into getting politically motivated. And when Donald Trump first started uh, campaigning for president, I remember thinking, like, like, clearly he's a reality TV star. Clearly he's got uh, a lot of money and hotels and whatnot. Clearly um, there's got to be something, something other than just being president that is motivating this guy. Um... Originally, I thought maybe the American public in general are just not engaged anymore in politics. 
And so, like a great WWE or WWF match, the political world stage needs contenders that will draw in a crowd to the politics because consent has to be manufactured, otherwise, uh, we can't continue milking people's tax dollars, increasing taxes, and doing whatever we want, we would be seen as a, a foreign invasion or an invading government, government or a rogue government, and we might risk the uprising. The uprising! Anyway, those are my thoughts, but then uh, here we are four years later, and the same guy, Donald Trump, wants to be president again. And up until now, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't seen a good contender. But if you want to scroll through some Adam Josh predictions, we can do that. Hashtag explore. I'm on Twitter right now on my business account, which I just recently made. And we'll look through some Adam Josh predictions. One thing I said is that originally, back this is back in 2016, I remember saying, like, I feel like uh, it's the writings on the wall that there's a few people that the Democrats are interested in. One was uh, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I remember saying that very clearly. July 20th, 2019, my predictions for the U.S. 2020 elections are as follows. Two terms, Biff, two terms. <laughs> There's a tweet from mine from 2020. But originally, I, I, as, as far as the Democratic, uh, Republic, the Democrat side, I kept thinking that uh, they were trying to get Oprah, The Rock, there was a short list. And um, Oprah, The Rock, I think I wrote Michelle Obama. I'm going to try to find it. And uh, that was my original Democrat lineup. And now, so you might think, oh, that's crazy that Adam would say uh, The Rock was being tapped to be uh, to run for president. Uh, you may think that's crazy, but then I followed up that tweet with articles where he admitted that he was asked and people were seriously trying to get him to run for president. So I wasn't far off on that one. And uh, I'm not sure, I think Oprah has been asked but I don't have any backing evidence of that off the top of my head. As far as the rock goes, I remember reading many articles about that. So many predictions. I wrote in 2014 that Cleverbot is a dry run for AI compared to what is possible. All the chatbots in the world and everything you've seen will be inside AI. Most people don't even know what Cleverbot is. Now, like, just say cocaine poodle to your phone. And you'll see. I don't want to do it. They're listening to me. So I wrote, yeah, many different times that I thought Obel, um, Michelle Obama, or whatever you want to call her, Michael, o Michael, or Michelle, those are things I don't really care about. Whether Michelle Obama was born as a man, Michael, La something, I forgot the last name. That doesn't bother me. It. it, it I, I get that people obsess over, like, oh no, this person's a man, and they do these transvestigations. Um, I feel like that's a waste of time. Like, are you surprised that people are lying to you? Like, is, is this is what you want to do with the rest of your life, is expose um, female to male, or male to female trans people? I don't feel like that's a productive use of time, but for some people it gets them off, I, I guess. But uh, if Obama, Michelle Obama was a man, uh, then it means a couple things that you had the first gay president, I guess. Or you had the first 
male president who was uh, living with a trans woman, and then the kids are adopted. I mean, to me, that's not that big of a deal. It's politics, not like we're not we're not analyzing their moral ethics, are we? Like, do you really care who Obama sticked his penis in as a consenting adult, whether it was in the front hole or the back hole? Like, to me, it's not that big of a deal, but. Some people make huge deals about Michelle Obama being a man. Uh, I'm trying to find some of the stuff where I wrote about my predictions for the 2020 run-up. Oh yeah, so when I tweeted about The Rock, one day I was told, oh, put on Alex Jones, he's talking about The Rock. Of uh, Donald Trump, it, it was getting a little bit tiresome and cartoonish. I mean, he's saying what? Rock John at in time, but I believe that Dwayne the Rock Johnson will run. I predicted it in November of 2016. Yeah, so I was listening to Alex Jones, and he was saying the same thing that Dwayne the Rock Johnson was basically being groomed or asked to run for president. So I wasn't far off on that. I had it. Oh, here we go. Vote for The Rock or Michelle Obama in 2020. This is November 17, 2016 I wrote this. If you can remember this in four years, you freaking kids. And then a few years later I wrote, ask me how I knew this. So there's a story in GQ, which you can look through my predictions on Twitter, hashtag Adam Josh Predictions. I'm looking at it right now. Dwayne Johnson for president on GQ magazine. So just search GQ magazine Dwayne The Rock Johnson for president. No one gets up earlier than Dwayne Johnson or goes to bed later. And in the article he's talking about running for president. So why that didn't come to fruition is another story. But the fact that I predicted it in 2016 that he would be tapped. I guess I should have been more specific in 2016 when I wrote that prediction. <clears throat> also, I predicted Michelle Obama. Now, isn't it funny that we're at this point in history where Bloomberg is probably going to pick VP, uh, Hillary Clinton as his VP. Another one, 2018, I wrote, The Rock, Michelle Obama, and Oprah as Democratic candidates. And uh, Michael Moore was trying to get Michelle Obama as well um, to run. So Michelle Obama and and um, not Bloomberg, Sanders. Michelle Obama and Sanders and then Bloomberg and Clinton. At that at this point I see to me that's what it's leading towards. However, if you were to ask me what, like, my honest opinion of a, of a true contender, if you're talking about WWE, pol political wrestling, a true contender to Donald Trump for the presidency into the next four years, 2020 to 2024, the only, the only real contender I see on the field is Tulsi Gabbard. It, uh, Demo on the Democrat side, not a Republican, on the Democrat side, from Hawaii, served in the military, she's got the troops behind her, <clears throat> a, a woman of the people, a female, obviously, talks about auditing the Fed, a true contender, I'm telling you, but... She wasn't on the Democratic stage to debate last night in Las Vegas, which I think is a damn shame. If you're in America watching this, you should ask yourself and your friends, like, who is Tulsi Gabbard? What is going on? I'm telling you, sitting here in Niagara, Niagara area in uh, Canada, like, looking at this from my point of view, they're giving you these other characters, like Bloomberg and his VP will most likely be Hillary you have Pete um, Booty Judge <laughs> and uh, and uh, Warren, Senator Warren and Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders will probably choose um, 
I would guess Michelle Obama at this point. But you have all these contenders that uh, they're giving you, but the real one, I'm telling you, the real one is Tulsi Gabbard. The re that's the real one that the, of the people, if you were to choose. I think that she would be for the people. These other ones are more like top-down. This is what they're giving you to choose from. As if Bernie Sanders even thinks that he has a chance. As if these guys... I feel so sorry for the people out there in the world that uh, in America that blindly support Bernie Sanders. You guys are totally clueless, and I feel uh, sorry for you. I'm not even going to get into the stuff, but... Um, Wow. So anyway, follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. I predicted Donald Trump would be president in 2020. Uh, to me, as I'm doing now, talking to you guys about what I see in the American political spectrum, no, I was doing the same thing in 2016, and I thought, like, as far as serious contenders go, I felt like Donald Trump was the only serious content contender, and I was looking at the crowd sizes that he was drawing as well. And I understood that uh, he had a very savvy um, campaign team that understood the Electoral College. And it's not just that uh, you can be a populist and win, you have to understand these nuances. Like, you know, I've been managing businesses and whatnot for m the bulk of my adult life. I'm in an office right now in my shop, and it's like, it's like, yeah, it's cool, it's fun, it's fun, but I, you know, at the same time, it, there's, you know, it's not just all having a morning banana in in the morning. It's like a lot of hard work, a lot of diligence, paperwork, back end stuff, things that I'll never talk about publicly that have to happen uh, for this place to be what it is, and for businesses to carry on, not just one year, two years, three years, but now twenty years later. You know, it's not. You know, if you're in it, then you're in it, and it's your business. And if you're not in it, if you're not a part of it, then uh, it's not your business. And this is why I don't talk about it with people. So, all that being said, let's put on some more... I've been listening to a lot of this August Burns Red band lately, and I don't even know who they are, to be honest. Aside from, like, two uh, a week ago, listening to the new song, Defender. So they might put a YouTube copyright claim on this video. I don't know, but it's a great song. Commercials before the music. You gotta love it. Alright everybody, follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. The website is AdamJosh.com. I gotta email them. All my MP3 files have gone missing. Take care everybody.